dear friends in the previous videos we discussed uh, homeostasis and uh, we discussed how uh, the body is trying to maintain near constant values of uh, different electrolytes and important constituents in the human body today uh, we will discuss some uh, important uh, electrolytes minerals and we will discuss their normal values their ranges and uh, what are their minimum and maximum values which the human body can survive without dying so first of all we have uh, glucose the normal value of uh, glucose in the extracellular fluid is about uh, 85 mg per deciliter there is a specific range uh, which uh, we discuss after the normal values and the minimum maximum uh, values but normally the blood glucose of the in the extracellular fluid will be about 85 mg per deciliter after oxygen we have uh, carbon dioxide uh, after glucose we have oxygen sorry oxygen oxygen uh, value in the extracellular fluid will be about 40 mm of mercury then we have carbon dioxide normal value of carbon dioxide in the extracellular fluid will also be about 40 mm of mercury after carbon dioxide we have sodium which is about 142 millimole per liter potassium potassium uh, value in the extracellular fluid is about 4.2 millimole per liter and after chlor potassium we have uh, chloride chloride uh, value in the extracellular fluid is about 108 millimole per liter then we have bicarbonate bicarbonate value is about 28 millimole per liter then we have uh, calcium it's about 1.2 millimole per liter after calcium we have temperature of the human body it's about 98.4 degree fahrenheit or 37 degree centigrade and last but not the least we have pH which is about 7.4 pH of extracellular fluid is about 7.4 so these are the normal values But when you check the value of glucose, oxygen, carbon dioxide or any other electrolyte, it will not exactly like 85, 40, 142, 4.2 or 98.4 but uh, it will somewhat above or below uh, these values but most of the time it will be around these uh, values in a normal human being with no uh, complications or no uh, chronic or acute diseases so what will be the range of uh, these different uh, 
electrolytes, minerals, and the temperature and pH. Uh, that uh, we discuss after the normal values. First of all, uh, we discuss the range of glucose, which is about 75 to 95. So when you check blood glucose, most of the time it will be 85 milligram per deciliter, but the range is between 75 to 95. It will be between these two values. Then uh, we have uh, a range of oxygen. The oxygen will uh, range is between 35 and 45 mm of mercury. Similarly, carbon dioxide is also between 35 mm of mercury, millimeter of mercury and 45 mm of mercury. These are the lower limits and these are the upper limits. But uh, these, these lower and upper limits are not very sharply defined. Uh, you will find different values and different guidelines and different associations like American Association, British Association, European Association. They will have their own normal values, but most of them will, be, will fall between these ranges. There will be very little uh, differences. Same goes for uh, sodium, the lower limit is about 138 and 146. Potassium uh, range is between 3.8 and 5. Chloride is between 103 and 112. Bicarb is between 24 and 32. Calcium level is between uh, 1 millimole and 1.4 millimole per liter. Temperature of the human body is between normally between 98 degree Fahrenheit to 98.8 degree Fahrenheit and pH is between 7.3 and 7.4 these, uh, these are the normal ranges these are the average values and these are the normal uh, values um, which is maintained the body is trying to maintain near constant near constant or uh, a value between uh, a specific range for each and every nutrient. Similarly, uh, the body is trying to maintain temperature between these two uh, limits and the pH is also being maintained between these two values. But we have uh, an upper extreme and lower extreme for each of these uh, electrolytes, minerals, um, pH and temperature so let's begin uh, what are those upper and lower limits which human body can survive for a short duration without dying so for the glucose it's about 20 20 and 1500 average value is about 85 normally it is between 75 and 95 although the values are uh, different slightly different between different guidelines and different associations the recommendation are slightly different but the lowest uh, value survive and uh, that a uh, body can survive is about 40 milligram per deciliter and the upper limit is about 1500 milligram per deciliter a human body can survive as low as 20 and as high as 1500 milligram per deciliter. Although a, a person with you know, values be, uh, as low as 20 or as high as 1500 will not be normal. He will have a lot of signs symptoms, but um, he can survive it for a short duration. 
still this is not very sharp value it doesn't mean that a per as soon as the blood level glucose level will touch 20 the person will die or as soon as it touches the 1500 maybe uh, there is another comorbidity a lot of other diseases are involved and a person may die above this or it may he may die below this or maybe he survived 19 or 18 or slightly above same goes for oxygen the oxygen uh, concentration in the extracellular fluid that can be survived is 10 on the lower limit and 100 on the upper limit but you should know that this is the concentration this is the partial pressure of oxygen in the extracellular fluid this is the in the uh, otherwise in the arterial blood the virus partial pressure of oxygen is about 75 to 100 75 to 100 and the saturation of red blood cells is between 98 percent and 100 percent so these are different sub um, categories it's the situ it's the value of oxygen in the extracellular fluid then we have the partial pressure of oxygen and then we have the saturation so that should not be confused the carbon dioxide uh, values the minimum is about 5 and maximum is about 80 that a human body can survive for a short duration similarly it's 115 for sodium lower limit and 175 on the upper side for potassium it's 1.5 and 9 for chloride it's about 70 and 130 bicarbonate the lowest limit is 8 and the max is 45 calcium lower limit 0 0.5 millimole per liter and upper limit is 2 millimole per liter temperature lower is 65 degree Fahrenheit or 18.3 degree centigrade and similarly on the maximum or the upper side it's about 110 degree Fahrenheit or 43 degree centigrade and the pH the lowest pH that a human body can survive in most of the circumstances it's about 6.9 and the upper limit is 8 I'm repeating this thing again and again that these values um, denote most of the circumstances and the average of most of the uh, guidelines most of the association agree on these values but if uh, we consider individual uh, guidelines individual uh, values for every association then uh, there will be slight variation but what we want to see in this uh, video is the homeostasis the ability of the human body to maintain near constant value of all these substances near constant value of hum all these substances what are the condition that will bring um, glucose from 85 to 20 or it will uh, increase the value of glucose to 1500 similarly what is uh, what are the causes the, uh, that will bring down oxygen to 10 or will increase it to 100 and what will uh, decrease sodium and what will increase its value similarly uh, there what are the conditions that will decrease pH or it will increase these are separate uh, categories for each and every electrolyte each and every nutrient which will be discussed in specific units for example blood glucose value can be decreased uh, below 75 and when it decreases it is known as hypoglycemia which can be caused by uh, some drugs like sulfonylureas or insulin excessive insulin therapy 
similarly blood glucose value can uh, go above 100 or it can go above 1000 uh, although these values are not seen uh, most of the time uh, 600 700 800 are seen in the clinical practice most of the time and this is known as hyperglycemia the hypoglycemia patient will have their own signs symptoms similarly the hyperglycemia will have their own signs symptoms which varies from patient to patient then uh, there are some uh, diseases uh, respiratory infections or some uh, chest conditions which will not allow uh, oxygenation of the uh, blood and it will decrease the ex saturation of the saturations as well as the partial pressure there are a lot of a lot of diseases which can increase or decrease the um, value of uh, oxygen in the blood similarly there are diseases like uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD which uh, increases the carbon dioxide value in the extracellular fluid while on the other hand diseases like anxiety will wash out carbon dioxide and will decrease you should remember that if the concentration of a particular nutrient increases at a rapid uh, speed uh, very rapidly then it will have uh, more consequences as compared to slow although the rule will not apply to all uh, the nutrients uh, and all the minerals uh, all the substances in the extracellular fluid but it is most of the time it is true for example if a person develops hyperglycemia the blood glucose is increasing slowly and gradually the patient will not straight away notice this condition but when it is um, but when suddenly the blood glucose concentration decreases the patient will get signs symptoms within minutes or hours similarly uh, there are conditions like metabolic acidosis metabolic uh, alkalosis respiratory alkalosis respiratory acidosis which will not only decrease or increase the value of bicarb but it will simultaneously increase or decrease the value of oxygen chloride potassium and sodium when patient presents to the emergency department most of the time uh, baseline investigations are done and during the baseline investigations in some patients uh, in whom metabolic or respiratory systems are involved then ABGs are done, arterial blood gases. In the ABGs or arterial blood gases, we go, uh, we see oxygen, uh, then we see carbon dioxide, bicarb, and from that we um, uh, conclude uh, what conditions the patient might have and how can it can be corrected. Then we have a lot of conditions like hyperparathyroidism. Uh, or hypoparathyroidism which can increase or decrease the value of uh, calcium if it decreases below uh, the one millimole mark it will be hypocalcemia if it increases above it will be hypercalcemia similarly and the temperature if it uh, is lower down below 98 degrees centigrade it is known as hypothermia if it is normal it is a normal thermia and if it increases above 98.88 uh, is known as hyperthermia the fixed point in all these uh, in all these uh, electrolytes or constituents at which we will label a person as hypoglycemia or hypo uh, hypocapnia or hyponatremia or hypokalemia or hypobicarbonatemia is not defined it is defined but it is it varies from um, association to association from books to books and uh, even the labs the labs will provide you different values so uh, keep your mind very much open and don't uh, try to cram uh, or um, remember all these uh, fixed values with passage of time as, uh, as you keep on seeing the normal and abnormal values you will get a, a picture of or you will have an uh, idea of what is the normal and what are the abnormal values so that's the end of this uh, video thanks for watching it